contest is for all three hundred rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out on the blue corner, wearing the red blue shorts, trimmed with the black tangle effect. At the weight scale, nine stone ten pounds. He's a centurion, ladies and gentlemen. This being tonight is 129 professional appearance, presenting from Stockport, the Devil Child, Jamie Quinn. And the bouncing head, boxing hours of the red corner, wearing the white blue shorts, tremendous angle go. Underway, he's going to ice down 10 pounds for ounces. Tonight, he makes his proud professional debut, presenting from Wadley by the Sean O'Hagan Camp, George Harvey. So, if you better go and do this in the Hollow Max, and always in the rooms, the Supreme Tons of Andy Rowe is our referee in charge of the action for all three minutes now. Studious guidance of Sean O'Hagan. You can see his quick feet, you can see his thinking, you can see he's probably benefited from the sparring with um, Josh Warrington, Maxi Hughes, Reese Mould, um, the rest of the lads in this table. Very nice, very nice. Just a little background history on Josh. He's 26 years old, he had 30 amateur fights, um, senior and good movement, good movement. Good, good selection as well. Nice and light on his feet. Been boxing since he was 10, but took out a little sabbatical to just grow up as many kids do and should. Came back about 20 years old, joined the Purge Amateur Boxing Club. Lovely shot, lovely. He just picks his punches well, feet in a good position. I, I always like to see the back heel up on a fighter, which means he can spring forward, spring backwards, spring to the side. He's totally in control. His hands are nice and high. I like that. I like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Looks very cool under pressure as well. And so it should be. He's boxed at a very high level as an amateur. Boxed one of the promising McCormacks. Had a good fight with him, feels that he should have actually got something more than he did. But he won back-to-back -back national finals as well. Very good there. Look, he just his hands are up nice and high. He's catching gloves, he's catching punches on his gloves. Very good. These punches that he's catching on the gloves are, punch, are the sort of punches that can sap a person's confidence if they connect. Oh lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice and light on his feet. Putting good pressure on. Exerting pressure. Stepping away. Coming back inside, last 10 seconds. Lovely. Finishing nicely. Changing the angles. This is what you want to see in a prospect. Well done. Well done. Good first round. First round. Hargreaves found more than enough gaps. Boxing very well. And I'd like to know what Josh has sent him out, uh, Sean sent him out to do. But he's throwing his little feints. He's, yep, stepping in, stepping out. 
Good distance of range, changing the angles very well. And so he should do. He won back-to-back -back, um, national finals. Very good kid, very good kid. Took a little clip there, but this is boxing. You can't go in the ring without getting wet. Very good. He also beat a good kid in Oliver Simpson, who was a very good um, England international. And um, Ernie beat him. Josh Hargreaves, a.k.a. Ernie, beat him. This is very good, very good. What I like as well is, um, it's from the Dewsbury, Dewsbury Batley area. And he quoted a name that I thought to myself, you know what, for you to be quoting that name tells me that you've done your homework, Josh Hargreaves. Gary Sykes, former British champion, very five-star Sykes, very good kid. And he said that he quoted him as one of his heroes. Right now he's showing very good composure, punching well. It seems like at some point in time when he settles his feet down that he could actually develop into a spiteful puncher. But that'll come with experience, that'll come with time and seasoning. He looks well though, he looks very well. Very good movement, very elusive. Goes out of range when he wants to, stays in range when he needs to. Very good, very good. Just them little feints, just that little switch in direction offsets an opponent. I'm very impressed with Josh Hargreaves right now. Very impressed. Cool, calm, collected. Oh, wonderful. Making him miss, coming right back in, exerting the pressure. He's showing the qualities of a championship fighter, to be fair. Let's hope that um, he continues with his dedication and fulfills his potential. As you know, you can't get in the Team Warrior, um, you can't get in the Team Warrior stable without having some kind of talent. Lovely, lovely. I like this. This is the kind of boxing I like. Smooth, precise, accurate. This is nice. It's lovely, lovely left hook, check hook. He's finding his punches between the opponent's punches, which is very good. He stays, he's got good feet, that's a very good second round again. Very good second. Second round, round three. We're joined by elite world level champion Josh Warrington right now, who's a stable mate of Josh Hargreaves. It's uh, a very honour to be here watching young Josh Hargreaves make his professional debut. He's, he's one of the very experienced. Devlin from Northside, Devlin. The opponent's Devlin is coming from Northside, the Northside. Oh, it's Quinn, it's no, Quinn, it's Quinn uh, isn't it? Jimmy Quinn, yeah, yeah, Jimmy Quinn, yeah. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. In second, a bit I don't know what I'm thinking of there. there. Sorry about I've that. I missed the first two rounds, obviously, doing the, the exhibition, but um, what, what have we seen so far, Nick? Well, to be fair, Josh Hargreaves is a live prospect. He's a very good kid. He's shown exceptional movement. He reminds me a little bit of a little you, to be fair. Good feet, good vision, good stance, accurate, determined, and you know, sharp. Over the last seven, eight weeks, been watching him train in the gym. He's very dedicated. Um, I know he's had a good amateur pedigree. And you can see, in the start of training with ourselves in our camp alongside Max Hughes and Reese Mould, no, he did bring a lot of that amateur pedigree into the gym, but over the last few weeks, he's been able to settle down a little bit. Still keep the, the finesse and the flair of the amateur, but sitting down his punches a little bit. You can see now there, just a little change of angle. Very good footwork, um, but at the same time, he knows how to have a strap when, uh, when it's needed. But so again, someone like Jamie Quinn, great debut. Jamie will know when to put it on him. and know when to just make him uh, work a bit. To be fair, Josh, Jamie's tried putting it on him, and you know something? He can't touch him. <laughs> he can't touch him. A very good debut, and for, for somebody to have Jamie Quinn as their debut, that's telling you something about the kid himself. He's catching him with good shots, 
his selection's good, his variation's very good, and his movement. He's obviously learnt from you guys. Yeah, most definitely. We all know he's, he's, he's a tough player. I mean, this is something here. He's, he's sold all the teams with tickets. There's a lot of fans here, and there's expectation. They all want to see him at show him. At the same time, he's keeping his composure. You know, he's, he's, he's not the youngest pro at 26 to start his career, but he's enjoying himself and he's listened and he's disciplined as well. And you can see that mature head about him. And in the gym, he's always asking questions of trainer Sean O'Wagan. He's always asking questions of the other fighters in the gym as well. And uh, he's willing to learn him. He'll, he'll learn a hell of a lot of this, uh, this fight right here. I like him, Josh. I like his movement. And you know something, he's got, he understands his own history. That's probably the first shot he's taken all night. Um, he likes his history. When he quoted Gary Sykes as one of his inspirations, my ears pricked up straight away. Yeah, that's fa fantastic. I think um, he's, he's from the, that, that party, family. And um, Into, into the fourth round, I think uh, Josiah Greaves has a successful professional debut. He's shown his fans what he's capable of doing. Um, I would say first time without eight guards, but I think he had a few contests in the amateur without eight guards. But his first time as a professional, are you, are you, has it been an impressive one for you, Nicky? I'm absolutely ecstatic at the fact that you know you you know me. I like a good defence. I like good movement. I like good variation, and I like people that. I don't want you to necessarily run. I want you to come in and out of position, come in and out of the, the position, but still be in, still have the possibility of countering, throwing shots back. And he's blocked, he's slipped, he's rolled. He hasn't been touched really. As you see, very elusive, very light, light on his feet, nice on his feet. Um, I tell you what, Sean will be very proud of that performance against a, a tough Jamie Quinn. Quinn. Uh, and, th and this is this is the thing is sometimes you would normally try to find two form uh, performance and try to think of something where it could improve on as the career goes on. But with this performance, and I'm only seeing this is only the second round I'm seeing already, keeping his composure, lovely boxing, standing when he needs to, and then getting off defensively sound, hands are straight back up. It's, uh, it's a great performance from Josh Hargreaves right here. This is, I'm very impressed, Josh. I like the fact that he's, um, he's still um, picking his punches. He's, he's still, he's not, when he's covering up, he's not blinding himself. He's still covering up, hands to the side of the face. Yeah, that was beautiful defence, uh, beautiful defence. And when he's picking them jabs, he's not just throwing them willy-nilly. He's looking for the target, you know, changing the uh, variation, going upstairs, going downstairs. And that's something that comes a fact with a fighter with experience and, and an high class as well. So. He's already showing such high class so early on. He's got promising. Well, you'll see him develop as he, as he goes through, Josh. And um, this kid's still got years in his career. You know what I mean? So you'll see him. You'll see him grow. You'll be able to give him all sorts of um, tips, hints, little things that'll further his career. Most definitely, and I think it's going to be. It's going to be one of them where young Josh, like I say, I mentioned his age already. He's going to want to be out constantly. He's one of them who lives in the gym, constantly training, and uh, I should imagine they want to be back in the gym on Monday. On Monday. So um, I sure I'm, I'm pretty certain he'll, he'll, be, he'll be out soon enough. And certainly want to keep, keep your eyes on. This is a good four rounds that he's had here, and you know yourself that Jimmy Quinn's a very experienced lad, tough kid, been in with some really, really good kids. And I'll tell you something, I, I've never seen him handle like this. Yeah, I remember watching Reese Mould against Jimmy Quinn, and, uh, you have Reese a good old nice work as well, so yeah. very experienced journeyman. This is, this is nice to see. Good, good bout, good four rounds, standing in good stead, great debut, fantastic debut. Fantastic performance, and that's one of them where his fans can go home happy. They'll have enjoyed that, and it looks very promising for Josh Hargreaves. Josh! Pardon? 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 Pardon?
Yeah, made him work, but you know something. <laughs> For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.